Are you ready? Hi, hi, welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, and welcome if you are new. These types of videos pop up on my channel on Thursdays and Sundays, so if you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button. There's also a playlist, a whole playlist. Well, yeah, a whole playlist for just eyeshadow stuff that I do. So go check that out as well. There's a bunch because we're gonna be doing eyeshadow today. <laughs> Remember, I got this in one of my subscription boxes and I just could not wait. So I had to try this out. We're gonna try this out now. Um, and if this works out well, I'm actually gonna be buying another one to gift because I have ideas. But I wanna make sure that this product is good. This is the Hidden Garden Palette from Estate Cosmetics. It looks like it's gonna be good. We'll see. Not only is the packaging beautiful. <laughs> Either way, the packaging is beautiful. But on the inside, you get a gigantic mirror, a gigantic mirror, and these beautiful colors. Be beautiful. I love them. There's what one, two, three, four. One, two, three, yep. Yeah, four mattes and four or five shimmers. Nice. As I like flail it around. Nice. Big pans too, which I really like. And I love that this comes with a mirror too, so I don't have to juggle between things, especially with such a larger palette. It's hard to do. Let's get to trying these on. And by let's, I mean me. The, <laughs> oh. I went ahead and primed my eyes already, already with my Beauty Crop Stuck On You eyeshadow primer. So we can just, I can feel free to just dig in and figure, figure. Like I want to do, hear me out. Um, sirens. Mm -hmm. I want to do I kind of want to do like a brown goldy look. Not just because that's like the majority of the colors, but like this gold. Okay, so Charm and Elixir are just calling to me. Also, Fairyland sounds adorable. Troll is cute too, and so is Alchemist. Shroom looks nice. I really just want to play with Hidden Gem, Flora, and Amentia. Ooh, I might do Hidden Gem. I love purples. I cannot help myself with purples. Anywho, let's get started. This actually went on pretty nice. I was not expecting so much pigment right away, but I got it and here we are. So I'm gonna come in with a smaller brush, not just my big poofer puffer. Let's do this one, smaller fluffer brush. It doesn't tell me who it is. It says all over shadow. That's all I got. Um. I'm going to come in with Alchemist. We're going to start small and work our way up. This is so pretty. Like already just as is. I could leave this and be happy because throwing it out there um now I want to come in I want to come in with some shimmers I don't have like a flat flat let's come in with my big flat flat from ColourPop mmm uh, I'm gonna start with Fairyland we're gonna come here and start from the inside and work our way across
This is lovely. Oh, like just as, and I'm telling you right now, we could stop, I could stop, and this would be perfect. But we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna come into, I don't know if I should do elixir or charm. Let me come into charm. See how we do. And I'll do like the beginning third mid heat just right here. Right here. That's kind of pretty. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. This is nice. Wow. Okay. Next is. All right. Now into elixir. And then just this little center outer piece. Oh, that's pretty. I kind of want to mix the two. Now that we're here, I'm mixing the two. Yep. Yeah, I like that. That's so pretty. Because you have a copper and then a gold. And I just love how they're looking together. Wow. Yep. I mixed them. Can't help it. I mixed them. It's pretty. Yep. I mixed them. Wow. <laughs> I ended up mixing them and it looks beautiful. I could stop now if I wanted to, but I don't. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna come in with one more color. I know I've already used a lot. And I'm gonna use one more. I'm gonna come in with this one, Hidden Garden. I was gonna say purple, but then I turned it to this one. I'm gonna come in with Hidden Garden now. And I'm gonna do my bottom with just this. Wow. Um. Yeah, this is pretty darn nice. Um, I like this. <laughs> I'm a little iffy on the purple shadow on the bottom, but I'm going to add some mascara really quick and see if that evens things out. <sighs> Do I have a purple lippy? No, probably not. But, hmm. This is not bad. This is not bad. I feel like I did like a smoky kind of thing. But there's like a, some major part. You can't really see the purple, honestly. Like, it sucks because it looks so pretty in here. But then, like, on my face, not so much me it's okay but i used a lot of these colors they they're pretty pigmented they don't all blend well but like with all shimmers a brush doesn't do them justice see how they're they're just there they're just, and i know if you dig in there with your finger or you get a wet brush and you go in different this is still pretty nice though Ooh, 
one more thing i want i want uh, more of like a purpley lip do i have i don't oh i do i was like i don't have a purple lip This one from Fenty looks pretty dark. I have yet to try these, so I wonder how dark it's gonna be. Let's see. Wow. Um. Well, uh, I was not expecting it to be this dark. Let me try and lighten it. <laughs> I was not expecting this to be so dark. Let me try and lighten it. I'm going to take like a cute little almost note or index card and kiss it. Nope. We're still dark. This is pretty though. I do like it. I enjoy this look. Um, dang, I really like this lip. I kind of feel like the lip just totally took over the look. But it's really about this palette. This whole palette right here is where it's at. This is what it's all about. Don't pay attention to my lip. Oh, dang, I might take some of this off. I should do just a whole video on Fenty. I feel like it's too late to take anything back now. Yeah. Nope. We're still super dark. Oh. Yeah, so I lightened it a little bit, but we're still super dark, but it does help pull in the purple from under, from, from my lower eyes, eyelashes from my lower lash line, there you go, still, I mean, I love these lips still now, but this, I don't know, the whole palette I think is really good as far as the eyeshadows go, they work well my poor phone I squished it <laughs> as far as the palette goes the shadows are good the pigment is there you you may have to come in with the wet brush or your finger as far as the um the shimmers go they're not very they don't transfer well um which is okay I mean that's expected unfortunately it's like a normal standard thing but they still did really good I don't 100% feel like what is in here is exactly what you get on your face as far as the shimmers go, but the mattes for sure. So if you're thinking about getting this, or if I'm thinking about gifting this, like I'm going to now, go get it. Check it out. Estate Cosmetics. I think I've tried a few things from them in like my Ipsy, maybe, I want to say. Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. Have you guys tried this palette? Have you tried other palettes from them? Other products that you might recommend I try? Let me know. I'm going to end this here, and I will catch you next time. Bye.